Hey, what's going on? This is one I've been meaning to get to for ages. You're not going to believe it, but it's true. I haven't heard the drug in me is you from falling in reverse. I, I just didn't get into them early on and I don't know why. I just miss them. I've been catching up. I've been loving everything that I've been hearing. The drug in me is reimagined is apparently incredible. I didn't want to hear it until I'd heard the drug in me is you. So I'm going to first watch the drug in me is you. Then I'm going to skip ahead to the reimagined version. I'll have chapters down the bottom. So if you just want to see me uh, react to the reimagined version, that's going to be down below. Click that, jump me ahead. And yeah, it's on me for missing these. I know that. But anyway, let's get into it. This one is The Drug in Me Is You. So this one was from 2011. Look at young, fresh face Ronnie. <laughs> I heard a knock upon my door the other day. I opened it to find a staring in my face. And still reverberates everywhere. God, these guys used to be very glamorous. Okay. I remember Papa Roach went through a phase like this. He is so much more buff than that now. Uh, this is just a bit of fun. It's got like a kind of creepy, like Halloween y kind of vibe to it. They're like a hair metal fun rock band back here. Cool chorus. A lot of guitar wank in this one. Ooh, good advice. Oh, I like that guitar line. Oh. They put a lot of money into this video. This is a lot of fun, but it's not my style. I like heavier stuff. I like more new metal stuff. I like their newer stuff. Definitely. As I've been listening to them and catching up on them, all their newer tracks, I've been like, this is exactly my style. How have I not gotten into them? And it's because they used to be like this and this just wasn't my thing. Uh, it is very cool and I love what they've turned it into. Um, but yeah, this was not my style. He had some like hair metal. What's his name? Russell Brand, that is what I'm thinking of. He's like the metal Russell Brand. Hairspray, hairspray and hair straighteners were alive and well in 2011. I like this. like a 303 kind of fun vibe to it. Double kick in there at the end. This would have been a fantastic gateway band for people to get into heavier stuff. 
uh, is what I would call this. Because there's all the elements of heavy stuff, but it's just not quite metal or metal core. It's not what they were going for, so completely understandable. But this would have been an awesome way for young kids to get into this, love this, and be getting away from the stuff that's on the radio and more into rock and metal, which is what we want. All right, it is time. Falling in reverse, the drug in me is reimagined. Let's go. Check out the production quality of this video immediately. That's it. I heard a knock upon my door the other day. His vocals. I opened it to find that staring in my face. A lot. The feel of Over 10 years. And he's a way better looking dude now. Check it out. Everywhere I go, I drag this coffin. Just in case. All right, so immediate things I've noticed. The video quality is incredible. His vocals are so much more natural. They're less pushed. They sound so much better. That's 10 years. That's like that mastery thing where you just put in all that time over 10 years. And this is the immediate change that you see. And then he's been working out and he's just a naturally better looking dude. He doesn't need like all the makeup and the scarves and stuff. This is just a very cool video so far. Good vibe as well. My body's trembling and shivers down my spine Adrenaline kicks and shifts and overdrive Your secrets keep you sick Your lies keep you alive Snake eyes every single time you roll with I'm shocked these are the lyrics eyes. that I just heard I felt the darkness as it tried to Are they? Down. Is it the same lyrics? They sound so much better The kind of dark that haunts a hundred year old house I wrestle with my thoughts I shook the hand Dude, of that vocal. Running from my past, I'm praying feet. Don't fail me now. There's just a raw quality to his I voice now. my goddamn mind. It happens all the time. I can't believe I'm actually meant to be. How is this the same song? Trying to consume. This is so much the better. Drug in me is you. And I'm so high on misery. Can't you see? Oh, good change. This just shows that the rapping and the cover. I don't mean rapping as in like hip hop, like vocally rapping. I mean like a present, like the cover of the book does matter because when i was watching that last one it's all like fun and they got the hairspray and it's like hot chicks all over the video and it's all upbeat and good charlotte and then you hear the same lyrics but presented in a more authentic way like this it is incredible the change in the song and what the song means as i was listening to the first one i was thinking why would they have chosen this to be a song that they did an emotional version of and it's because when you take apart the lyrics they're incredible, but I just couldn't see that because I like all the flashing lights and all the, the funny stuff of the first video. It's so interesting. I've got these questions always running through my head. So many things that I would like to understand. If we are born to die and we all die to live, then what's the point? Okay, I get it. I've lost my goddamn mind. It happens all the time. I can't believe I'm actually meant to be here. Is this just natural progression or has he gone to like a ton of vocal lessons as well, I wonder? The change over 10 years is drastic and the recording quality as well and everything. This voice is just so much more 
natural. The pitch is better. The emotion that he can bring into it. I wonder how much of it was professional training or how much of it is just practice and practice and determination. That's, I would love to know if he, if he did get a lot of training as well as the practice or if it's just all him. So interesting they did this. Wait, is he actually playing the piano? I assumed it was a prop. control on his voice. Yeah! They did it! I didn't think they were gonna. That was sick. I'm so glad they did. I was hopeful, but I didn't actually think they were going to put in the full band. It was sick. The fire in it. Very cool. All right, there it is. I finally heard the drug in me is reimagined. I don't know. When, when songs like this go viral re with reactors, there's something that is off-putting about it for me. For, for some reason, I always try to stay away from them for a while to let it let it die down so I can come at it on my terms. It's a weird, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird, but I'm glad I did. I assumed this was just gonna be like a slow, very like dramatic version. Um, I actually, I don't know why, I thought this was gonna be cringy. To be completely honest, I thought this was gonna be cringy, but it was sick. It was very, very sick. Ronnie has done some cringy stuff in videos before. Just a little bit. It's still cool. Like, I still like them, but there's just a little bit where it's like... But I think it's, like, intentionally cringy. Like, when he, uh, he, the blonde and the, like, blonde and black hair Ronnie, like, punch and it blows up the universe and stuff. It's kind of like, oh, but I think that's intentional. This one was just good. And I loved when the full band came in. And the change. I can't believe it's the same song. They took a song that I will probably not listen to again in the original and turned it into a really cool emotional song and uh yeah when the full band came in that just bang through the roof awesome all right guys i hope you like this one if you did you can like and comment that helps a lot if you want to see my videos as they come out you can subscribe to the channel i do have a patreon dollar a month and you get to see all my videos uh uncovered or the blocked ones are all posted up there but yeah have a good one i'll see you next time see ya it makes me